Good morning everyone, it's Jennifer and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a stitch with me and I am going to, um, I've decided to do a um, new project but I'm only going to do it on stitch for stitch with me videos. So this is what I will be working on. I'm trying to get to the whole picture. And of course, you know, you can't see the picture. There we go. Um, it is called the World Travel Bookshelf by um, from Heaven and Earth. And I've had this one for a while. And um, so I'm really excited. I did start this a long time ago on... Um, 14 count and of course yeah it was going to be huge and I didn't really want something huge huge so I'm going to do this on 22 count instead so that's going to be what I'm going to do for stitch with me's and um, so every time I do a stitch with me this is what I'm going to work on so, and I'm also going to show you guys how I start a, um, a, uh, um, a page on Haid. Now, those of you that have ever seen, and I can't show you the chart, but, um, no, these are the grids. I showed you how I did this last time. I'm kind of doing two in one here, the stitch with me and the, um, this is kind of a tutorial and it's kind of not, but how I start is I will have my, of course, I have my chart pulled up on my tablet in Pattern Keeper, and I look at the, um, see, wait a minute, I'm going to make sure I don't, like, go crazy here, one, two, three, four, okay, I do four, uh, four 10 by 10 uh, grids, uh, you know, across, because I can't, I'm not, I'm not, you know, crazy. I'm not going to do extreme cross stitch across the whole page. I tried that. It doesn't work. I, I get messed up every time. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the first four blocks on in the column. And that's how I usually start. So, I just usually, now, mind you, I don't knot my thread at the very end when I go to put, pull it through. I just hold it with my, with this back here with my finger. I don't do any kind of special like pin stitch, loop start, whatever. I'm just, you know, plain Jane, basic, you know, whatever. So, um, and of course my fabric is kind of awkward this morning. I did, you know, let it lay out a little bit. So I'm going to do this and I'm sorry, I'm trying to get it into the picture and it's not helpful. But as you can see, I'm doing this on top of my diamond painting. So let's see. The first color is like a lightish purple. And you guys probably can't see it. It probably looks white to you guys in the, the camera. But yeah. So let's see. One, two, three, four. Right? Yeah, I always make sure I count to make sure that I get it right. Because sometimes I will miscount and still mess it up okay um, I think that's right no where is it okay maybe it is okay I never know so that's basically how I start as you guys can see on the back I didn't I have the, uh, I can't show you, but I have this held by my finger, so, but anyhow, so, um, I just thought I'd, instead of trying to do, you know, one, I feel like every time I was doing a stitch with me, I was, um, you know, I, I think, you know, I felt like I was getting kind of bored with everybody seeing the same, you know, d piece every time. So I thought, you know what, we're just going to do this because I've seen a couple other people, um, 
floss tubers that have, you know, started, you know, taking one project just mainly for stitch with me's and just use that for, um, you know, to do the stitch with me's on their channel. So that's what I decided to do. And that way you guys can see my pro my progress. I am planning to do a stitch with me one, uh, at the, I'm not going to do another one this week. I'll probably do two next week or, you know, um, of course not on Christmas day, but, um, I'm going to add an extra stitch with me in here in the, uh, in my schedule. I know I'm not with it this morning. I'm sorry. <sighs> it's one of those days. I was up at 3.30 this morning. Don't ask me why. I have no clue. I just woke up and I don't know why, you know, I like I said, I don't know why, but I laid in my bed trying to figure out, okay, why, you know, tried to go back to sleep and that kind of, that didn't happen. So, <laughs> I just ended up getting up and... I thought I, you know, was going to wake the boys up because I was moving around out in the living room and they kind of, you know, especially Skylar, he knows when I'm up. And um, so I just didn't want somebody woke up, you know, to get wake up. And um, he, uh, he didn't, but he didn't want to go to school either. And I told him, I said, well, you've got to go because there's, you know, this is your last week for, you know, before Christmas break. And I said, just enjoy it. This is your last week of the, of this, you know, this year. And of course, you know, he just assumed, oh, does that mean school's going to be closed and we're not going to go back to school? No, son. I think he, I think he gets confused and well. So he's, you know, of course he wasn't happy, but I had to, I walked with him over to the school this morning because I had to go pick something up and, you know, he was like, why are you walking with me? I don't want you to walk with me. And I said, well, boo boo, I got to go pick something up. And he was like, what? And I said, it's just something that one of the teachers asked me to come and get. And he just kind of. It was kind of, it was Christmas presents, which I wasn't expecting. They called me yesterday and they were like, you know, I guess Skylar said something. I, I don't know. And I think I just goofed. I did. Skylar had said something and he, um, I did. I goofed it. He, uh, I guess he told them that we didn't have presents. Which, you know, okay. So I wasn't, I was kind of, I was kind of shocked. But then again, you know, I'm grateful that, you know, they, they did this. And of course this needle. So. I think I'm going to have to get a different needle. This needle doesn't want to cooperate with me this morning. I don't know why. <sighs> Jeffrey is crazy. I've never had this problem. I don't know why it's not, you know, I am not. I might get it. No. <laughs> I don't usually have this much of a problem, guys. I don't know why. This needle's not letting me see to thread. All right, let me go grab another needle. Bear with me a second. I'm not going to be that far away. And of course, my stuff falls down. Yeah. Oh, let's see. There's another one here. 
I'm sorry guys, I've misplaced a needle. Every time I find I think I find a needle. I don't. Let me go grab a needle, guys. I thought I had one back here. Okay, sorry, then the eye of that needle wasn't um, the size that I needed. I apologize. I would have paused you, but I don't know how to pause on my OBS. So, try this again. Not only that, it makes it hard because this color is really, really light and you can't see what you're doing. So, um, so yeah, I was, I mean, and I'm, you know, and I'm not getting back to the presence thing. And I'm not one of these ones that likes to, you know, but it's not the first time that his school has done this. And um, I'm just grateful that they thought of us like that. Uh, I'm not going to say anything to him that, you know, about him saying something because, you know, it just... I'm not like that. And of course, you guys can't see. I'm not, I'm having a rough time this morning, guys. So <laughs> bear with me. I keep thinking, I keep forgetting that, yeah, I got to sit up here. So he's, uh, so he doesn't know that there's a bunch of presents hidden in um, Miranda's room which is you know fine so um, this is totally not doesn't have anything to do with um, stitching but I am having I'm a Collar Street um, stylist or whatever you call it and I have a party that's open. The link is in my bio, in my um, description. And I am having a big, huge party, so you guys can, you know, order. Um, I think there's still. I think it's still buy three and get one free. I have to look, but yeah, you could buy three and get one free or something like buy two. I think it's like that. I can't remember. And um, so there's some really pretty colors. As you guys can see, the ones that are on my nails, I like these. These are don't flake on me, and they're really pretty. So I really like these. This is going to be on my list to buy because they're I you know they you would think. You know, I would wear them for New Year's, but I just, I like, I just like them. So, yeah. So, my party is listed below. If you can't get to it, please, you know, comment and let me know and I will, um, I will redirect it. Redirect you to the link. Or some pretty Christmas colors on there and I think the New Year um, I think the ones for January are out I'm not sure yet but um, I don't think so but you know like I said um, but there's plenty there to, to choose from there's a lot of pretty colors all the ones I've you know I've gotten I love there's a couple I'm not too crazy about but I love them so 
other than that, I mean, it's, you know, but, um, did I do it right? Okay. So this is pretty much, okay, we're going to go back to stitching now. I know y'all are going to like, really? She's all over the place this morning. Trust me, I am. I really, I, I, I took a, like a little, you know, power nap before, um, the little dude went to school. So I'm kind of, I, I think I got my second win. I wasn't trying to take a nap. I was kind of waiting until later and he, uh, Next thing I know, I'm zonked out, and he came and woke me up. He's like, "Mommy," I'm like, "What?" He said, "It's eight o'clock. You're gonna, I'm gonna be late." And I'm like, "Oh gosh, okay." So, I got up and poured me another cup of coffee, and yeah. So I gotta put something over top of this because this is driving me crazy. Um, I don't need an indentation of. That drills on my arm. <sighs> I know. I'm going to get a thumbs down for this video. I'm sorry, guys. Um, it's one of those mornings, I think. I, I think, uh, you know, and it's funny. I feel like I'm always having a morning. And of course, you know, it's the wall household. What do you expect? But um, I try not to. I mean, usually I'm pretty positive. But this morning, oh, my God. And I, I don't know why. I was up at 3.30. I have no clue. I just woke up and I I sat here and I thought, really? And Justin, he kind of got irritated with me this morning. I told him, I said, I'm not in the mood this morning. He said, what's your problem? I said, dude, I've been up since 3.30. And he said, why? I said, I have no clue. I said, so get your button gear and get up and he just looks at me he's like mother and I looked at him and I said son <laughs> so he just kind of just like you know we kind of had that look back and forth between us and he was like mm, okay I'm not gonna win this one and um so yeah it, it's uh It's been one of those days, and then the funny, well, Wednesday, I went to Michael's, or not Michael's, well, yeah, Michael's, I went to, um, actually, Hobby Lobby, with the intention of getting the chalk pen, the chalk pencil marker, or whatever it is, I'll, would you believe that I walked right out the door without it, I didn't even think about it, I found the fabric I needed to get, which was this, and I did. I walked right out the door. Got the floss I needed and just walked right out the door. I was like, are you flipping kidding me right now? I didn't even look to see if they had it. I was like, uh-uh, no. So, <laughs> I'm going to, I've got it on my list of stuff I need to get. So, yeah, I was... Along with the fact that I forgot the Christmas tree lights. So, yeah, that wasn't, it was just like, okay. And, of course, you know, this was after, you know, all that mess of having to cancel my stitching live stream Wednesday because of parent-teacher conferences and so on. And I just wasn't. I just wasn't feeling anything. And, you know, of course, then the bad part was I'm standing in, in Hobby Lobby ready to use because I can get, you know, you know how you can use your phone with the 40, you know, percent coupon or whatever. Well, I went to go pull up the coupon. Okay, would you believe the stupid coupon would not come up? I was not happy. At all whatsoever. So I'm standing there and I can't get I can't get it to pull up. I can't I can't I was just like really? And the manager comes up, she hears me, you know, kind of mumbling to myself, and she said, What's wrong? And I said, This stupid app 
And she says, uh-oh. And I said, I can't get the coupon. And she says, I'm sorry. And I said, my best friend's going to send me the the picture of the coupon and the code. And she says, I'll accept it. She says, it's not the first time somebody's done that. And it was just a point. I mean, I was not, I just, yeah. by this time, I was ready to go home, ready for the day to end, but I still had to go to the grocery store. So it was kind of like, really? So, yeah. So I did that, and of course, I'm so, you know, we had, went to get Skylar his, um, tennis shoes because he needed new tennis shoes well he told me what you know size his shoes were so I get in there and I get the, the shoes and I bring them home and he tries them on he says mom they don't fit and I said well you're the one that told me what size your shoes were he told me the size of an old pair Okay, really? Why would you do that? So I just looked at him. I said, dude, I need to know what size the shoes that you're wearing to school are. So we got him another pair. And because technically he was wearing, um, you know, the boat shoes that are, you know, like they have, the, I don't even know how to describe them. They're from Adidas. But anyway, somebody gave them to him. And well, he's he was wearing those, and because at first he wasn't, he didn't tell me at the beginning of the school year that he needed new shoes, and um, so he uh, he started wearing those, and well, when I noticed that he was wearing them. I, was, I told him, I said, you need new tennis shoes. And he says, I know. I said, well, why didn't you say something? I could have got you new tennis shoes, you know, when school started. And he says, I don't know. Okay, whatever. So that's what we did. We got the we got those yesterday. They're orange and black. Or black and orange. Or black and red, I think. I don't know. But anyway, yeah. So he likes them. Which I'm not, you know, I'm not complaining. Um, he wanted a pair of Nikes. And shoe department had, um, has Nikes. And I was going to take him there. But the last time I went in there, the, uh, the sales manager was a complete total, you know what? So, I'm going to go back another time and probably after Christmas and because I need new tennis shoes too. So, I'm going to go back and get him and I a pair of Nikes that he can have. But, I, you know, that's only if he wants them. If he doesn't, then, you know, I won't get them. So, we'll see. So, but yeah, it's, I just don't like getting up at 3.30 in the morning. I really don't. It just, it sucks. It sucks. Patootie wad. Yes, that is a word. I looked it up. That is not a word, but it's my word. <laughs> I'm strange that way. So, of course, Scott, Justin told me last night because I said it out loud last. I, I was, I don't even remember why I got irritated or something, and I said, "Well, that just sucks, patootie wad." And he comes in, he says, "You know what I'm gonna do?" I said, "What?" He says, "I'm gonna get a stencil and I'm gonna put that across the back of, across across your drafting table." And I started laughing. I said, "No, you're not." I said, "We're not gonna do that." <laughs> I said, "No, no, no." No, 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 no. Not happening. 
I hope you guys can see what I'm stitching. If not, I'm, I tried to get as close as I possibly could. And, well, I moved, had to move my camera. And, well, I'm trying to get it. I hope. There you go. There we go. We'll try it this way. And I keep moving. So it's kind of like I keep forgetting that the, I, I'm, I'm not sitting in my recliner. So, but yeah, this, you know, it's been, I'll be glad when Christmas is over and done with. That's just, you know, my, my personal thing here. I'm ha I'm watching the camera as I do this. So I'm just ready for, well, I'm not ready, but then I am because it's just a whole lot of craziness and Justin bought his girlfriend a stuffed animal. I was teasing him the other day, actually, the, uh, the night, um, Sunday night, because he came home. he gone shopping with my mother, and I was teasing him, and I said, you know what? He said, what? I said, I must be chopped liver, and he just looked at me. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to get this camera straight, and I said, what do you mean? And he, or he said, what do you mean? And I said, you buy for your girlfriend, but you won't buy for your mother? He just looked at me. He's like, I'm sorry. It's like, I remember that. So he, you know, and then I teased him last night. And he's like, what? I was like, dude. He's like, well, you get, you buy stuff you want. And I was like, okay, but don't you think your mother would still like a present from you? And he, and he just looks at me. And he's like, he started getting an attitude. And I said, I'm teasing you. He's like, okay. He's like, well, why do you got to tease me? I said, because I can. And it's my prerogative as a mom. <laughs> so, yeah, he was, you know, all kinds of not a happy camper. Okay, where am I? Okay. There we go. So, yeah, it was it was an experience. But he bought her a big stuffed... Um, stuffed animal. I don't know what kind of animal. He didn't, um, I didn't get to see it. I tried to sneak a look at it yesterday when, uh, before he left, but, um, he had a grip on it, so I couldn't very well look at it to see, you know, what, um, what he was, uh, what kind of animal it was. Not that I would have teased him about it. So, he hasn't really said anything about going over there. So, I'm kind of... I'm kind of waiting to see if that happens. There we go. So... I told him that um, I told him if he went just to let me know so I know what's going on because I mean there was a bunch of drama with um, um, over Thanksgiving with his girlfriend's stepfather and him and well, he, uh, and it really wasn't even his fault. So, you know, he doesn't want to go over there unless, or actually he doesn't want to go over there, let's put it that way. And he's not allowed over there. But, um, 
his girlfriend's mother said that, you know, she would come and get him. And I told her, I said, well, you know, I don't want promises made if, you know, you're not going to come and get him. Or if you're going to tell him you're going to come and get him and then not show up like you did on Thanksgiving. I said, because, you know, he kind of got upset about that. And, you know, she explained it to me. And I told her, I said, well, you know, he just doesn't want to go over there when he's there because, you know, he doesn't want drama. Not only that, you know, he's, you know, you're whatever he is, is not the nicest person in the world. And I'm not trying to have another whatever panic attack or whatever because of something ignorant and he was like I totally agree she was like I totally agree and she said well my mom you know I've been staying apparently she's been staying with her mom and she lives in Delaware so she said that you know she would let me know that, um, but you know, her mom had no problems with him. And I was like, okay. I said, well, just let me know. I said, because, you know, she's like, well, I just don't want, you know, your Christmas to be kind of, you know, blown out of the water. If I say, call him and say, you know, I'm coming to get him. And I said, well, I, it doesn't matter. I said, after, you know, after, you know, lunchtime, on Christmas Day is fine. It's not a big deal. So, we'll see. We shall see. I know I'm looking at the camera. This doesn't look like it's a purple, but I'm looking, but you can see it. Now, see, it's blurry, <laughs> but it's a purple. Trust me, this is purple. It's a very light purple, so I don't know why it's not. I don't know, but I, believe me, it's purple. Uh, and I'm not trying to copy other people, but I saw you know this. I was watching a couple people, um, the early this morning, way early this morning, that were doing, you know, heaven and earth stitch with me's and they were just using one you know project so I thought you know what instead of me you know doing uh, you know my rotation on stitch with me's I'll just pick a project so I picked this one because it's brand new and I've always wanted and I had this in queue to do but the rate I'm going mm, Lord knows when I would have gotten to stitch this so I said, what the heck? And it's pretty. It's got a lot of bright colors in it. I know. I've been told I don't, you know. I like bright colors, but it's, and yeah, and you know, no, I don't always, you know, pick bright colors, but I like bright colors, but I'm just not, I'm just not into them as much as, you know, other people are. Don't ask me why. I just, I don't know. So, and it's chilly. Say it's supposed to be 60 degrees today, but I'm going to tell you, it doesn't feel like it outside. I walked out there earlier, and I thought I was going to freeze my butt off. And I told Justin, or Skylar, I said, I'm glad that I don't have anywhere to go today. And he was like, why? I said, because it's cold. Like, well, mommy, the weather said it's supposed to be 50, uh, almost 60 degrees. Yeah, okay. Didn't feel like it. Now, I don't know what it feels like now because I haven't been outside. But mm, it was cold earlier. I do plan to do a live stream stitch with me at some point. I don't know when. I'll probably do it after, you know, the new year. And, um,
just have a big, you know, basically a big stitch in, I guess is what you want to call it. Um, I'm still going to do my lives and stuff for my stitch, you know, my live on Wednesday, actually tomorrow. Um, that way, those beginners that are watching me can, um, I can show you guys how to start a cross stitch, an easier one than this. I've been doing this for 30, almost 31 years, and believe me, it took a lot for me to learn how to do stitch a big one like this. Not that I don't enjoy it, because I do. I love, you know, watching this come to life, but... I just don't want everybody to, I mean, everybody's different. When I started stitching, I, you know, my mother showed, my mother just threw one at me. I mean, it wasn't a big one. It was like, you know, probably about maybe a little bit, you know, I don't know. I can't remember. I don't even have it anymore. I think I gave it back to her as a present or something, but, um, Um, and then after I completed that one, I started getting big projects and believe me, I messed up a lot of times, a lot. And it was crazy. And I would get so frustrated. And finally, um, right after, you know, you who groups were started for, you know, they're, they're, I'm not sure if there's still any YooHoo groups on Yahoo, Yahoo, Yahoo groups. Oh my God, YooHoo! Holy crap! Okay, huh. um, I don't know if there's still groups. You know, like what are on Facebook now? I think most of them have kind of, you know, drifted over to you know to Facebook, but. You know, before Facebook, I, you know, I was on groups on AOL. Yeah, that shows you my age. Mm -hmm. Yeah, AOL. And then eventually, you know, we all kind of switched over to um, Yahoo. And um, Seriously. <sighs> I goofed it somewhere. Okay. See, I told you. I goofed somewhere and I don't know where. Oh, maybe I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay. Um. About ready to have a tizzy bit. But, um. You know, after learning tips and all that kind of stuff from, you know, the, the groups and stuff, I learned how to park, which, let me tell you, that's a big debacle in itself because, oh my gosh, before I learned how to use the pins that I use to wrap the, you know, the floss around when I'm done with that color, let me tell you, it, it, it's, it's not even worth the the time to me anyway now you know like I said everybody's different um I just couldn't rationalize leaving my floss hanging in a hole where I knew granted yes with pattern keeper you know there's a way to keep track of that but I because I don't park and if I do you know it get it gets wrapped around my you know my pen my pen and, um, what did I do? I have no idea. Oh, well. Um, and it's just, you know, it's, you know, I just, I used to get confused. 
and don't ask me why. Oh, did I did I have right amount on? Okay, I did. So I just I just couldn't rationalize leaving it hanging like that because if I left it hanging, and I've done this before, if I leave it, you know, hanging like so, you know, and just let it hang and go on to another color, I'm going to forget what color this is and where it's supposed to go. So that's where, you know, and somebody had given me the idea of the pins and ever since then that's what I've been doing it took a lot to get you know used to doing that but it, for me it's more organized it's more it's a little bit more organized than having you know and you know I'm glad I'm you know and I'm I'm glad and I'm not saying you know because I have to applaud the people that can do you know leave the flaws hanging because I'm gonna tell you I hated it I would oh my gosh and I would end up having to cut you know cut it because I couldn't remember where it go and uh, it was just awful and I wasted a lot of floss that way so I just stopped doing that <clears throat> Because it was not fun trying to do that. It just and it became a it became more of a headache than anything for me anyway. And then now it's not so bad because yeah, I, I'm the pen has you know what you know color you know the DMC number on the pen and. I'm all good. No, come on. Um, there we go. So, which is a good thing. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can't even see this is. I'm doing this one in a full cross stitch, and usually when I do, um, do patterns or do charts on this this size, you know, on this count fabric, I'm usually doing a half stitch. So I'm trying to decide if I want to continue to do a full cross or. Because it's not going to really matter. And it's not going to really show. So. I don't know. I'll probably just do it anyway. Alright. We're going to do the half cross. Now. Those of you that don't know what that is. A 10 stitch is called a half cross stitch. It's basically just a half stitch. Just like. There. I didn't do a um, a whole, you know, I didn't make an X. And a lot of people used to give me a lot of flack about doing have um, the tent stitch on Heaven and Earth. And there's a lot of people that don't, that do, um, that use the tent stitch for Heaven and Earth. I don't know why. And, but yeah, I like, I like doing it. I'm not, I mean, there's a couple that I have. And of course now I'm going to have them out in my fabric. <sighs> um, but, um, it's faster too. So, but I do have a couple that I do the full, you know, cross stitch, the full X on. So. Let's see, where am I? Okay. But, anyhow, I just thought it would be nice for you guys to see me start, you know, 
do one from the beginning and you know and after I finish this color um, actually after I finish this color and this, this grid I'm going to stop the video and let you all go because I have things I need to do I need to get me another pair of so um another pair of scissors because oh my gosh I found some at um ha um, yeah Hobby Lobby but again I forgot to put them in the cart and what I mean and it wasn't like you know I intentionally forgot I just forgot to put them in the cart. <laughs> wasn't trying to so just like with the chalk pencil I, I totally you know and I'm kind of you know upset with myself that I forgot to do that but that's okay because I'll get an I'll get one when um when I go back over there. I'm not going over there this week, so but when I do, I will get another one. See, this is one one uh hobby that my kids my girls can't get into. They've tried and no. They just they lost patience. Now Ariel, my oldest daughter, did try this and then when she saw me start to diamond paint she wanted to do that and of course she's lost interest in that too so I just looked at just when she you know I told her I said well that's just lovely she's like what I'm like she's like well I still have it mm -hmm. I just haven't been able to do it mm -hmm. okay I said, well, at least you're not trying to, you know, at least it's not cross-stitch. She said, yeah, right? Because the last time I tried to teach her how to cross-stitch, she was like, um, I can't remember. Um, nine, ten, I can't remember. And, no, she was a teenager. She got so irritated. She, she looked at me, she said, I can't do this. Like okay, I won't make you do it then. And I, I to that day, I, I to, from then on, and what did I just do? What really? I never made her do it because you know that would have been wrong. But no, that's one thing I won't make her do. I don't know how I messed that up. Or did I mess it up? No. I'm a dingbat. I'm telling you. Put it in the wrong place. Why isn't it going in the right place? There we go. I'm telling you. Mm. And of course, you would think Okay. There. Right? Yeah. I'm having a time, guys. Sorry. <laughs> uh. That's going to get to a point where I'm not going to be able to see these holes that are really, really small. That's one thing. I can't go any higher than... 25 count and this is 22 count so I can't go any higher and it's going to be pretty soon I'm not going to be able to go any higher than 22 count because uh that's just yeah it's gonna it would be awful so yeah, but for now I'm going to enjoy this while I can at least I can see where to put the needle
because ah, that would suck. So, but yes, this will be my project every stitch with me. And that way, you know, um, because like I said, you know, I wanted to do just a project that was just for stitch with me's because, you know, I've seen a lot of other, you know, people do it. So I thought, what the heck, we'll try it. So that's what this project was about. And I, um, now I forgot what I was going to say. Good grief. I don't remember. I think I need more coffee. Really? I went too far. All right. Anyway. And next week I'm going to try to make it where it's more comfortable for me up here to do this because my arm is sore from leaning on here but I'm gonna try to make my make it a little bit more you know comfortable for me I was gonna do the stitch with me's in my chair but the uh, tripod I bought, I don't know how I'm going to put this camera on it. There's no, um, it's, um, there's nowhere for the camera to sit. Let's put it that way. So I'm going to figure something out. Now just bear with me while I work out all the kinks. Now that I don't have to really actually move everything out into the living room. I mean, I might still do that, but I don't know yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, guys. Let's see. Did I get okay. Now, see, this is going to be a pain in the butt. All right. Well, that's it for this week, guys. Oh, Lord. There went a notch. Yeah. That's it for this week. But like I said, this will be a um, project that I will work on every stitch with me. Um... I'm going to do two Stitch With Me's every week, and I'm going to try to do the same thing with um, two diamond painting videos every week. So, um, working on, you know, main diamond painting, and same thing with this. So, this will be my Stitch With Me project. So, until then, um, I will see you all next time, and have a great week, and make every day a crafty month.